We're not alone, uh, even at home, even if nobody else is at home. It turns out when we go to sleep, our warmth and our bodies and the beautiful moisture we breathe out brings waking up in our bed, in our pillows, dust mites. Now, these aren't the horrible bed bugs that you're kind of scared of staying in a cheap hotel. They're, they're microscopic. You can't see them with the naked eye. But if you look closely with the microscope, they look like armored personnel carriers with legs on. They are big armored hulks down there, and there's thousands of them, tens of thousands. They've found, been found in the cleanest of beds everywhere, in nice middle-class homes in Scandinavia. Again, not just in, a, um, uh, in cheap hotels. And these mites, they depend on us. We're like God to them. From our bodies come nourishing, incubating moisture and warmth. So when we get into the bed, they look up into the heavens and also food comes down like manna from heaven coming down to Moses, leading the Hebrews across the Sinai Desert because our skin flakes off. Big chunks of our skin. We can't see it. Again, it's microscopic. It's the sort of stuff you see sometimes balled up on a towel after you towel yourself down after a shower. Thousands of these flakes come off and they float down from the sky to the dust mites in our pillows and in our mattresses. The dust mites lean their heads up and they chomp and they chew and they're very happy. But then in the morning, after our alarm clock goes off, we leave them. We leave them behind and these poor souls, it gets colder and chilly. Some of the theologians might wonder where the deity had fed them has gone and they sort of slow down until we come back at night again and then they're happy.